I don't think you need to go to limbs to sign onto a VPN every time you're accessing the internet. Um, see, sometimes it depends on what sort of person you are. But there are things that you can use on the internet. You could use an alternative um, search provider that doesn't track so much information about you. Um, you don't have to use Hotmail and things like that. So you could try and get out to the big corporations that way and use obviously different sorts of things. But I don't think you necessarily have to go to the extreme lengths that we do just to be safe on the internet. Just be a bit more savvy about how you use the internet and mm. log phishing emails and things like that. And websites that have got download written everywhere. And like, which one do you click? And as soon as you click something, you download a, a something that you think's like a PDF if you were. And you think it's a legitimate one, but it's actually got malware in it. But it's recognising what's a legitimate site and what's a clown site. That's where it gets. That's where you've got to be a bit more careful about. 